Hey everybody, if you've been on my stream, you've probably seen stuff like this, or this, or this. Today we're going to go over one of the tools I use for stream automation. The tool that we're going to go over is called Sammy. This is a fork of Leorn board. There was a lot of drama, and I'm not a drama channel, so I won't be going over that. Anyways, let's get started by installing it. The first thing that you'll need to do is have the dependencies installed. OBS is required, and you have to have the WebSocket plugin. However, if you're on the latest OBS, 28 and up, the WebSocket plugin is already built in. Once you got that, you'll go to the download page for Sammy and click the big download button. There's a couple of versions, but you probably want the x64 one. Unzip the folder. You'll probably want to put this in a place that you can remember. Sammy Core is the executable that you will need to run. Now that Sammy is going, you'll need to connect it to OBS and Twitch. You can check the status of all the connections by the circles in the bottom left corner. The first thing that we'll do is connect to Twitch. You'll click on the Twitch connection, then click Open URL. This will open your browser and ask you to log into Twitch. Say yes, and then close the window. The two Twitch bubbles should now be green. Now we'll connect the bridge. First, you copy the URL to the bridge. We'll add this as a custom dock inside of OBS. Click on Docs in the top menu bar, then Custom Browser Docs. Paste in the URL on a new line and hit Done. If you did it right, you'll see a Sammy Bridge window pop up. You don't really need to do anything with this, but you can send test signals later if you want. Finally, we need to set up the WebSockets. I'll be running through the OBS 28 version. If you have an older version, the steps are pretty much the same, but the UI will be different. First, enable the WebSocket server. Then copy the password over. I recommend toggling the protocol and checking on Auto Connect. Now all four circles are green, but before we make anything happen, let's go over a couple of concepts. The biggest concept is the button. The button is something that gets pressed either by you or automatically when some event happens. When the button is pressed, it runs through its commands. The event that can press a button is called a trigger. Finally, a deck is a collection of buttons. If you keep this mental model of how stuff works, you'll find Sammy really easy and enjoyable to work with. So with all that in mind, let's make a really simple button. First, we need to make a deck since we don't have any. Now that we're in our deck, let's make a button. I like to label mine so I know what the hell is going on. To change the name and color, we need to change the appearance. I'll name this my button, but you can call it whatever you want. You can also change the color and even add images. After changing the appearance, I always go to triggers next. There's a lot of events that can trigger your button. Chat, subs, bits, follows, raids, and channel points. Pretty much anything you can think of can trigger a button. However, let's keep it super duper simple in this example. I'm going to do a chat trigger. Let's do something when anybody types exclamation mark giggle. You'll see on the right that you can choose who this works for. For now, I'll leave it on for everyone. We'll click save. If your button has triggers, the little gun will show up in the top left. Now we'll move on to commands. Commands are what actually do stuff. There's a huge list of things that you can do. Make clips, send messages, changing things inside of OBS, chatting, and more. If you're curious, I would check out the Sammy documentation for a full list. But we're going to keep it simple. So let's have a bot laugh and tell whoever did the command that they're so funny. If we want to get who the user is, we need to first pull the data from the trigger. So the command that we will use is a trigger pull data. For the variable, we'll save it as user. For the pull value, we'll click on the arrow, find the trigger we use, and find the user's name. Now we want the bot to say something, so we'll use the Twitch chat command. In Sammy, there are two types of boxes, white and yellow. If we want to use a variable in a white box, we need to escape it with slashes and dollar signs. If it's a yellow box, the variables are already escaped. Chat message is a white box, so we'll escape the user, and we're done. We need to save both the button and the deck for it to work. Let's try our command out. And it works! When you're making new buttons, I find it best to always follow this appearance trigger command order. If I need to set up various sources or scenes inside of OBS, I'll make sure to do that before making the button. You can get really creative with your buttons, and it can kind of be addictive. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by my stream or hit me up on Discord. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye!